Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the uh, Mises Institute of Economic Education special panel. Uh, it is great to see you uh, in good health and in person, uh, finally. And while we spend the next minute or so thanking in silence our merciful overlords from the government for allowing this event to happen, let me share with you a few details about uh, this panel. My name is Mikołaj Pisarski, and I am president of the Mises Institute of Economic Education, an independent research institution based in Poland, founded in 2003 by Mateusz Machaj. And the topic of our session today is commemorating Karl Menger. The pretext to organize it, as I uh, hope uh, you all uh, know well, is the coincidence of two round anniversaries. 150th anniversary of the publication of Principles of Economics, which Barbara had already mentioned, and 100th anniversary of Karl Menger's death in a beautiful old age of 81. And the goal of the session is to share with you the, uh, ef the effects of a year-long quest that we at the Institute had embarked upon to commemorate and uh, bring Menger out of obscurity and remind especially about the Polish part of his heritage in our country. So what justifies this are not only the effects uh, that uh, my colleagues will share with you uh, about projects that uh, we've already uh, did and executed and some that are uh, already in the making, but also especially the audience that we've chosen to reach with our endeavors. And among us economists, Menger is uh, known, at least from hearing, as a father of a marginal revolution. Among our crowd, obviously, he deserves a well-respected esteem, which is uh, evidenced by a large part of the uh, presentations for this conference directly referencing his name. But to a general population, he remains almost completely anonymous. And this fact is nothing new. Even uh, Friedrich August von Hayek, arguably the greatest star of our uh, movement, had written in his introduction to the principles that there must be few instances in economics or any other branch of knowledge where the works of an author who revolutionized the body of an already well-developed science and who has been generally recognized to have done so have remained so little known as those of Karl Menger. These are Hayek words from his forward, forward to the principles of economics. But we at the Institute, we love a good challenge. And uh, we embarked uh, early this year on a quest to bring Menger out of this brink of forgotten men. And on our side, we had a one crucial comparative advantage. Because as most of us know and understand, Menger uh, died uh, here in Vienna, but not that many of us pay attention to a place where he was born. And it was Neusądec, or Nowy Sądz, a town in southern Poland, which could be called an entrepreneurial capital of Poland with the largest share of billionaires living there and the largest share of the large companies having their headquarters in this small hometown of uh, the founder of the Austrian school, Karl Menger. That's why, uh, and I can assure you about this, at the beginning of this year, the amount of people who knew it, even Nowy Sąd, was uh, smaller than the amount of lockdown supporters in this room. So vir virtually no one knew about this. And our first goal was to change this. We've launched an online petition, we've written some op-eds, and in no time I was sitting in a room with the uh, president of Nowy Sąd, Ludomir Hansel, writing a, a declaration to commemorate Karl Menger in his hometown by uh, giving his name to a roundabout, new roundabout in the middle of a city. And if you want to know one thing about the Polish symbolical, or, symbolical order, roundabouts are a big deal. Usually the naming of them is reserved only to either John Paul II or one of the cursed soldiers, uh, uh, partisans who fought the communists after the Second World War. So it's virtually as important as you can get in our symbolic order. We knew that for the vote on a city council to succeed, there will be some convincing to do. 
So we've reached out to a Polish publisher of Menger Principles of Economics. There is a Polish translation. Uh, it's been uh, for over 10 years already. And a nice gift accompanying, uh, by, accompanied by now a few thousand signatures of the citizens of Nowy Sąd made its way to every member of the city council. The day of the vote came. And the president, who was putting forward the, the bill and making me a rapporteur to it, made sure that it will be a very important session. There was a new budget to be, to be voted on, and there was a long discussion about the secret police uh, control in one of the uh, city, city uh, companies, uh, so-called new normal under law and justice uh, government in Poland. So if I were to ask you, out of these three, the budget for a rather large and important city, the secret police control, and Karl Menger, which got the most attention and about which discussion was the longest? If you'd bet on Menger, you'd be correct, because it took over two hours of a streamed and watched closely by journalist discussion in which I was able to, to talk about him and present our case. And one of the council members was putting a tough fight against Mem uh, Menger. From claiming that uh, he was basically conquering Nowy Sąd's uh, weapon in hand uh, for the Austrians, to even at one point claiming that the supporters of a local football club are texting him by the dozens, uh, demanding that the commemoration of an occupant representation to be stopped, uh, he was, uh, he was uh, really, really tough, uh, tough nut to crack on. But finally, the voting came. One against, one abstaining, and 24 commemorating Karl Menger in his uh, hometown. And for a brief moment, <laughs> thank you. And for a brief moment, Poland was whole again, at least in Nowy Sąd, because to my knowledge, this was the most unanimous vote, at least in the two uh, council terms uh, in, in, this, uh, divided in this divided town, which reflect the divisive politics of our uh, hometown. But, Giving Menger a piece of asphalt to reign over was never the goal in itself. Because we well know uh, that the uh, monuments are prone to falling into obscurity as long as there are no people to care about ideas and uh, theories that they stand for. And even here, less than 100 meters from, from this place, there is a Menger Tor. Uh, through which some of you might have even strolled unknowingly on your way to this conference, which now, uh, while we were visiting it with Tomek, um, faces a bunch of posters dedicated, dedicated to a Marxist initiative on Viennese campus. So we knew that we want to leverage the attention that we've got and uh, use it to finally, uh, to finally uh, fulfill the mission that our institute is dedicated to, and that means promoting the Austrian school and educating the next generation of the economists in Poland. And luckily, the momentum was already on our side. The coverage of our endeavors had by that time reached over hundreds of articles, both in local and national press. The word of it reached a program council of a Polish economic forum, the so-called Polish Davos, the most important economic conference in the CEE region. And soon we've had the Federico who was speaking here, Dominik Strukal and our Matt Mahai delivering the austro mangerian ideas uh, from stage in, in one of the most important economic events of the year. And it was also held in person. In Nowy Sąd, things were going well as well. The Polish Austrian Association, had uh, made the 2021 the year of Karl Menger, and they've reached a series of their own, own inquiries into his life and time spent in Nowy Sąd. Uh, a local initiative, which uh, reaches over a thousand of prospective students founded by these big companies called Think, Bet of Entrepreneurship, had adopted Menger as its, par uh, as its patron, and we uh, got overwhelmed to be, to be true because between uh, a bid to name a new building for a local university uh, with Karl Menger's name and commemorating him on one of the murals, we've basically lost track of who and how was jumping on a Menger hype train bandwagon. So, to me, the moment in which I understood that we've managed to at least locally achieve something truly remar remarkable and transfer Menger from complete obscurity into a somewhat, somewhat of, a, of a superstar, at least for a moment, was when I visited Nowy Sąd later that year 
uh, to meet one of our donors. And the hotels were still closed due to the lockdowns. I had to stay in Airbnb. And my uh, host, a uh, kind middle-aged woman, asked me, what do I do for the living? And I told her that, well, I teach economics. Oh, she was like, oh, did you know that a famous economist was born here, Carl something? They named a roundabout after him. So I think it's, 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 uh, it's a testament that we've reached uh, really low with, uh, uh, with, uh, with the message about Menger. But we are a serious institution, and public stunts are not everything that we did this year and what we do to commemorate the founder of the Austrian school. This year, a uh, Polish Ministry of Education had approved a textbook, high school textbook, that will reach uh, hundreds of classes all across the country and through which Menger ideas will reach uh, hundreds and hundreds of Polish students every year. We hope that we will be able to mirror the success that uh, LFMI had in Lithuania, where over 80% of students are learning from a dedicated Austrian textbook at the high school level. As for today, my colleagues will share with you some other Menger-centric projects that we've planned and some already executed this year. Krzysztof Turowski will soon take you for a trip through uh, the Polish years of Karl Menger, showing that the, 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 the connection with our country might be stronger than most of us are usually aware of. Norbert Slenzok will present the contents of an anniversary monograph titled Vive la Révolution, 155th anniversary of Menger principles, in which our economists are presenting his ideas in a contemporary context. This important book will have its uh, premiere in less than 20 days from now during 8th Austrian Congress that we organize for our supporters and alumni. And this year, fittingly, it will happen also in Nowy Sąd. Next year, a translation into English will be also available to all of you. And finally, Tomek Agenski will talk about uh, what we consider to be a crowning jewel in our effort to commemorating Karl Menger and reminding about him not only to us, the Austrian, not only to the economists, but also to a uh, general population, especially young students and university, uh, university uh, students. Uh, Tomek is an um, esteemed director, libertarian media personality, and a recipient of an Anthem uh, Award for the Best International uh, Documentary. And from this, you might, all, uh, you might have already the dust what this last project will be about. So without further ado, let me uh, give, the, give up the floor and invite uh, Mr. Turowski to take you on a trip to the through the Polish years of Karl Menger. Thank you very much.